Hey everyone, so yeah, all hyperbole aside, I was so surprised that Microsoft did this, and this is good news for indie game developers because now they have another tool that they can use meaningfully, particularly for character animations. Now, before I continue, I just want to call it the reason why you're looking at a screenshot rather than having paint actually open is my primary computer that I'm doing this on is a Windows 10 computer. It does not qualify for Windows 11. I went to the Windows store and for some reason it doesn't look like there's a way to download paint from the store for some reason. It, you will automatically get it if you have Windows 11, and that's where I got these screenshots from. I have an entry-level laptop that I bought a couple years ago. Apparently, it qualified, and so it got the Windows 11 update. So the screenshot is from Windows 11, so my apologies that it's just a screenshot rather than the actual version of, um, you know, without it's not actually paint open on the screen. So the version is Paint 11.2308.30. That is the version that got downloaded to my Windows 11 laptop. I presume it's Paint 11 because it's for Windows 11. And I think this is really the first meaningful change they made to this application in years. And they've caught up slightly to where Photoshop was like 32 years ago. I think it was the early 90s that Photoshop added layers. And I think transparencies have been there right along too because you can't use a layer if you don't have a transparency. So this is going to be a very short video because there's going to be limited interest in this. But again, I like to cover Microsoft products and I like to cover products that are free. So you're going to have two buttons. In the upper left corner, you see a red square. That is the button that removes the solid background. So you've drawn your character. You want to get rid of the white space. You hit that button, and that should get rid of the white space. I did a few tests where I drew a bunch of squiggly lines like right next to each other, and it didn't seem to eliminate the white space between them. But that's really an outlier. You're probably not going to have that kind of drawing if you're doing a uh, you know if you're doing 2d animation because that would be a nightmare to animate so from what i can see it works pretty good and then the other thing you see the square in the upper right corner that says layers you literally just click on that button the panel on the side opens up and then you just have layers you click on that little plus sign at the top of the panel to add new layers and then you could just drag and drop whatever uh, order you want the layers to be in so why would game developers care about this? Well, because you, you have always been able to use paint for animation, but you always had to do it in conjunction with another application. Like you would have to open your frames up and say GIMP and then designate the, you know, the, the white space as the transparent background. And then that would, then you could, after you make that change, you could then save it and then import it into whatever application you're using. I don't know if there's a way to do it in real time in Unity. There may be a way to do it. Um, other than the watermelon game tutorial that I did recently, I haven't done that much on the 2D side of Unity in a while, so I'm a bit rusty. So who knows, maybe there's a way to do it in real time, but I kind of like everything to be nice, neat, and clean before it gets into Unity or whatever game engine that you're using. And also, I realize I'm a little late to this announcement because other channels covered it about a month ago. But honestly, I really don't like to cover anything until it's actually there for you. So if you've got a Windows 11 device, uh, mine updated just today, and then I finally got that version of, you know, the version you see on your screen of Paint. And again, it's, it's Paint 11.2308.30.0. So... I think that's about it. I don't want to drag out this video. This is really just a, an FYI to let you know that after 30 years, 30 plus years, uh, they actually added these two very basic features. And again, I think they did it because they're putting AI into everything and they're trying to demonstrate the uh, effectiveness of AI because again, the, the ability to remove the background, I believe is AI driven even though you know you've been able to do that for years to not have a background um, in other applications you know that's how they're, they're shoehorning ai into this particular application that would be my guess as to why they even did this uh, a few years ago they did try to make a complete replacement for paint it was called paint 3d and that was horrific in many different ways so uh, paint has again become the primary free to use paint application that comes with windows so I think that's about it. I hope you found this interesting and please do enjoy the rest of your day.